I folks is Ron with Ideal. In this video, I will show you how to install the new shielded feed-through modular plug from Ideal Industries for cables with large diameter conductors. First, remove about 2 inches of the outer jacket and fold back the foil and drain wire and trim them to about 3 eighths of an inch. The foil will make contact with the inside metal walls of the connector when crimped, ensuring the ground connection. The new connector is designed for cables with large diameter conductors between 0.04 and 0.048 inches found in CAT6A, CAT6, and CAT5E shielded cables. Next, separate each of the four pairs away from the plastic spline in the cable and go ahead and cut and remove the spline as close to the outer jacket as possible. If you've done this right, the blue pair is the opposite of the green pair and the brown pair is opposite the orange pair. A nice tip for untwisting and straightening the conductors is to untwist a little bit of each of the pairs just as they leave the outer jacket. This leaves a small loop in each of the pairs. Then using a small screwdriver, I can easily untwist and straighten each of the pairs by inserting the blade of the screwdriver into the loop and pulling on the pair. It is important to make sure the individual conductors are as flat and straight as possible. The new connector is made to work with shielded and unshielded cables that have larger insulated conductor diameters that typically will not fit in a standard inline modular plug design. As you work with these plugs, you might notice a unique conductor and pin stagger pattern. This single piece design helps to funnel conductors through the connector and out the feed through end. The next step is to lay the pairs out in either 568A or 568B. In this case, I will use the 568B wiring scheme. Simply rotate the cable until the orange pair is on your left and lay out the pairs from left to right in the correct order. Using my left hand, I will pinch the pairs flat and using my right hand, I will bend the, and manipulate the pairs until they are flat and straight. Then double check that they are still in the correct order and trim them to about one inch. With the orange pair on my left and the gold pins in the plug facing me, insert the conductors into the plug until the conductors are fully inserted and the foil shield is inside the back of the plug. The jacket strain relief clip is pre-positioned so the cable insertion is simplified. Next, close and crimp the jacket strain relief clip around the jacketing of the cable using a small pliar. The last step is to insert the assembled connector into the FT45 crimping tool and crimp the connector and trim the conductors. The tool trims off the conductors flush with the end of the plug, leaving a smooth, flat finish to the end of the connector. Your new connector is ready to be used. If you'd like to learn more, please visit our website or contact our customer service department. I'm Ron with Ideal, and I'll plan on seeing you on the next one.